In this video, you're going to learn about something called interactive tables inside of ChatGPT. Interactive tables are a new feature that allow you to dynamically update and reference tables inside of ChatGPT, both online on the chat application and also on the desktop application. Let's have a look at how this works. I've got some sample data that we're going to be using. So we're going to drag in these two tables and see what happens. So I'm just going to drag in these two CSVs put these in and what happens is ChatGPT is when we hit enter it's going to automatically render out these interactive tables now what's interesting about this is ChatGPT can reference specific columns it can even decide to join the tables if you have a look at the bottom you'll see that ChatGPT is analyzing if you click into that you'll see that it's loading in the specific data before that it can start doing extra operations. So first we're loading the additional employee data.csv and we're also loading the sample.employee data.csv and then it's printing the head. And now it's analyzed the data and it's giving a little bit of a summary and it's asking that maybe we want to merge those data sets. So it's decided that it wants to merge these data sets. And you can see that after that, then it also generates a new interactive table. Also, you can download these or expand these tables to hit the entire screen. When you expand it, then obviously you get this expanded view and you've also got the ability to ask questions on the right hand side. Now I'm going to go back and uh, collapse it. Now one thing that can be really cool is ChatGPT automatically gives you hot actions or quick actions that allow you to do things. So for example, we could create a salary distribution chart. So if I click this, then what happens is ChatGPT underneath the hood is running Python code on your behalf um, and then it's actually calculating and showing different types of charts. So you can see here, it's used some matplotlib code in Python. And if we close this down, you'll see this actually created a salary distribution. So other things we could do is we could say, what is the mean age? So we could say, what is the mean age? And then ChatGPT will also run additional Python code on side of that. So you can see it's worked out that the mean age is 27.8 years. We can click into the view, the analysis, and it's used a pandas package on the merge data column in square brackets and it's got the dot mean, right? So underneath the hood, when you upload CSV files directly to ChatGPT, you're actually getting some Python operations that are running in a sandbox environment to do those types of calculations for you. Now, the great thing about these interactive tables is you can easily download these as charts. So you'll see if I download this as an output chart, then I get a really nice output chart that I could share with my boss. So we can also get it to generate lots and lots of different types of charts. One other thing we might want to do is if you see here, we've got the emails, we have the age and we've got all of the employees. One thing we might want to get is, for example, the mean salary. So let's say, what is the mean salary? All right. So the mean salary of all the employees is $68,000. Let's go and have a look and just spot check. That does look about right. The other thing I want to show you is you can also specifically reference different columns. So for example, we could say, if we click on this column, notice how in the bottom, you see that uh, ChatGPT has the higher date column selected. We could then say filter by this column for 2018. And then because we've referenced this specific column, it knows that we're probably after filtering the data by the higher date. So you can see now if we clicked on the operation, it's filtering by the date of 2018, and then we get a different table that's rendered out. And so that's a, a great way to use these interactive tables. You can reference specific columns, and you can then use that in your ChatGPT at the bottom. And you can also reference multiple columns by holding the shift character as well. So if you hold shift, you can see that now ChatGPT is referencing three columns or four columns or five columns. So that's a really great way for you to uh, limit the amount of data that you specifically want or just telling ChatGPT to focus on specific columns. So a couple of interesting points here, you're getting those nice hot actions at the bottom. You can reference columns, you can download the interactive tables and you can even join data sets together and underneath the hood, everything's running using a Python sandbox environment so that it can scale to thousands or hundreds of thousands of rows for you.